Well, I wonder who's going to be waiting for me this week. Hi, we're the Dre family. I'm Donna. And I'm Billy Joe. We have three kids. Josie's almost five. What's up? Jared and Justin are twin boys. They're three and a half. Stop! Stop! And go to the living room. I find it difficult to actually control all three of them when they're together. <laughs> Josie, don't kick now. You cannot turn your back against them. You know, somebody's going to be doing something dangerous. Josie, get down. Now. The kids go absolutely wild when they go outside. Let's get in the truck. Don't blow the horn. Just corralling the kids is a very That's difficult fun. chore because you cannot focus on your task at hand. Josie, Justin, y'all got to stay with Daddy. It's absolutely impossible to do a complete job. These kids are not even listening to Dad. We have never took a vacation together as a family. We actually just bought a new camper to actually try to go camping. Hey, hey, Justin! We want to utilize the camper at least once a month, you know, as a getaway. But then you sort of scared about it because there's, you know, you can't control them at home. How could you actually control them at a campsite? You being ugly? <laughs> Mimi is okay. actually the kid's grandmother. She's my mother. She's actually here all the time. Good morning. She comes in the mornings at 7 o'clock. She gets them out of bed. She brushes their teeth. <laughs> we could actually not, you know, go day to day without Mimi's help. Do you see my eyes? You see I am mad? <laughs> Look at here. Mimi, what about the discipline? <laughs> Justin. We need some guidance. We need some structure where we can actually, you know, help keep our kids under control. We fully understand that we need to modify our behavior as well as our kids modifying theirs. Super nanny, we really need your help. Looks like everybody needs a vacation. I better get on my way. Come on in. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. The door opens and I probably looked really silly when I opened it because I was so nervous when she came in. Can I have a hug? Yeah. Oh, gosh, it's so nice to meet you. Hey, Joe, I'm well, Millie Joe. Pleased Billy to meet Joe, you. Pleased to meet you. Who have we got here? We've got Josie. How old are you, Josie? Four. This is Jared. Oh, Jared. Jared, and this is Justin. This is Justin. Hi, Justin. Hi. I'm going to be here observing the family. Just taking down some mental notes. And I'll ask questions if necessary. Okay. The children had just finished breakfast and it was time for them to get their teeth brushed. Justin, Justin, we gotta brush our teeth. <laughs> now. I don't want to. Come on. <laughs> All right, you wanna stand up? Do you wanna stand up? No. Or do you wanna lay down? How about I don't lay down? And I noticed that mum started to prop up pillows. And I wondered what the pillows had to do with teeth brushing. And I soon found out that actually what she does is force the kids down onto the pillow so she can really ram this toothbrush down their throats to get their teeth brushed. I mean, it really is a frightening experience for these children having their teeth brushed. Oh, somebody's coming. Have your wow. Wow. Get your clothes on. Hey, my baby. And in walks Grandma, and I can tell that she was a character right out of the South. Here we go. <laughs> no, we ain't gonna keep. What are you doing to me? Okay. Do you see this? Can we stop playing and get ready? Okay. So after they've had breakfast, they then go from this house over to yours. And is that a daily occurrence? They're out of school. When they're out of school. So we went across to Mimi's house. Thank you. See you later. OK. Whilst Mum and Dad went off to work and Grandma looked after the kids. Mimi isn't alone. In America, 12 million toddlers are looked after by their grandparents whilst their parents go off to work. So, Mimi, this is your home. Mm -hmm. this, is, uh, this is really their playroom, isn't it, this area here? Mm -hmm. They are my heart. I live for these young'uns. Mimi likes to help the family, and of course it's very convenient for mum and dad. 
You spend a lot of time, obviously, you know, co-caring, you know, being a part yeah. of their life. I have to because they're my heart. <laughs> hey, hey, you want to go to the chair, little man? And after a few minutes, the kids started to act up. Well, there may be Mimi's heart, but I was afraid they were going to give Mimi a heart attack. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You done pushed it to the limit. The family are trying to implement the naughty chair. <laughs> and yet every time they were holding the kids down. You can't get up then if you're not going to talk to them. Talking to the children, not keeping them on the chair for the correct amount of time. I'm going to wear him down and he's going to mind me. So they're not doing the steps properly and they're not getting the results because of that. <laughs> Quit, Bubba. And then Jared hit his sister do and that. Mimi was left having to wrangle both the kids. Come on. Oh. Come on. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I don't really know whether to feel sorry for Mimi or really laugh at the situation. Is it funny? There was this older woman stretched out on the floor looking like she was doing some yoga position, holding a foot and a hand at the same time. This is the discipline, is it? I can't put them in a chair because they'll run from me. Right. It was madness to watch. But this is serious. I mean, let's face it, Grandma's no spring chicken. She could seriously hurt herself. Normally, they listen to me better than this. Later on in the afternoon, the family decided to go out for a walk and it was a lovely opportunity for me to be able to see exactly how they are with the kids when they are out of their own home. Come here, buddy. See Josie, you. stay safe. They've got these kids on a serious tight, tight rope. Hey, 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 be safe. I wouldn't be comfortable coming this way with them and, and being able to control them. Why is that? Because of that right there. The drakes are on their own property and yet they are freaking out that they are having to go outside their doorstep and take their kids on their own land. I mean, how crazy is that? All right, I'll let you down in just a second. Why is he crying, Donna? He's crying because I'm toting him. Just uh, Why can't I hold your hand? Just come on. Be safe, Josie. Justin, will you not leave us? Just uh, Justin. How are you feeling right now? <laughs> Just sort of kind of wonder what I mean, what they're going to do. I mean, because they've already gone so far away from us now. Can y'all stop? I don't see what's so unsafe about them running around on their own property. Kids need to be supervised, but these children are way too overprotected. Such beautiful land, and yet Hello. troublesome to Absolutely. actually enjoy it. We never get out to explore because, just as demonstrated today, they get away from you. It's no big secret that I'm here to help the family go on vacation, and so I wanted to see where their camper was. So we've never took this one out. We've just recently got this one. This was the first time that they were considering going away in their brand new camper, and they were dead nervous about doing so. What is it as parents that you feel is troublesome in getting you in that camper and having a holiday together. They're going here and there and you're constantly right. at a distance screaming and hollering at them, telling them to come back. Right, so the fear is then wandering off again then. Some Anything that actually could danger, something right, that okay. could happen. So I'd seen the family outside the house and how close they had the kids on a tight rein. And I realized the same stuff was going on inside the house as well. Where did Josie go? Josie, Justin. Justin, let me put, let me follow you. you got two okay. Oh, you got it. I was surprised at how much the children are kept in line. Don't turn it off and on. You're gonna get electrocuted one day, son. Sissy, out of your bedroom. You haven't made a big enough mess. Josie, don't carry that baby to the living room. Does that dolly stay in here? Yes, ma'am. They've already pulled some flowers and stuff off of it. So we don't usually let her play in there in the living room with any of her stuff. The stuff that's all here, for example, these are things she can play with or? She holds it, but you know, in here, but she usually don't go to the living room because somebody will end up messing it up. Mom has them 
on a very tight invisible rein and these kids are suffocated for it. What's the point of having that dolly if you can't play with it? That's making them want to rebel in every way that they can. Get down. Do you know you could have broke your neck? I could see how badly the Drakes needed a vacation. So it's my goal to give these parents the confidence in their own discipline so they can take their camper away on holiday. You're not going back in there. <laughs> These are good parents. They're good people. But they need to loosen up a little. <laughs> but first things first, I need to sit down with this family and have a meeting so we can get on holiday. So Donna, Billy Joe, your efforts as parents have been noticed. They really have. But I'd like to talk about the control issue with the pair of you, and that shows itself in the secondary behaviour that we see from the kids, because then they start to answer back. You see them become defiant, because they can't change that, because two big parents are controlling everything. It's like big brother, bam! To the kids, it just seems like you're upset with them all the time by the way that you're talking to them. Yesterday, we were on your property. They got a few feet ahead of you and you guys panicked. It's just that wondering what they might do, you know? Take another step forward. <laughs> <laughs> They'd rather take 20 seconds of running wild like a horse and being pulled in than not knowing when it's never going to come next. In order for you to let go of some of that control, it means that you're going to have to loosen up a little bit, have a little bit of fun. You're so busy trying to control everything that you're not seeing the opportunities of where you can have fun with the kids and have fun on vacation. That would be nice. It would, very much so. So, let's talk about teeth. It was um, just a little bit strange, to say the least. The head being swung back to the pillow, then being chained down to the sofa, which is absolutely crazy. What made you not even think to put a toothbrush in their hand? I just didn't want them to have rotten teeth. I mean, so many kids do. And... But the way that you do it takes all the fun out of it, and it becomes a control issue. Of course, we want to make sure it's done properly, but we've got to allow our children to be able to do it themselves. Mimi. Let's talk about Mimi. Oh, she certainly helps us keep her head above water. We, She's a big we depend part. on her a lot. And those kids have got a wonderful grandma. There's no doubt about that. But you know, they run circles around her and she's on the floor doing like a yoga position, bent over, stretching one kid while she's stretching another. So I think really we need to get Mimi up to speed with discipline. And if you're all on the same page, nobody can run circles around anyone. Right. And until we address the issues that we have here in the house. That lovely brand new camper you got outside, waiting to be christened, is just gonna sit out there and collect moss. <laughs> <laughs> if in home there's rules and boundaries, it's gonna be the same in a camper. All we do is keep things flexible and downsize everything so that you can both feel really confident in being able to go away with your kids and have a family vacation and say, that was great, when can we do it again? So are we ready for a vacation or not? We're ready. ready. We're ready. So We're let's ready. get cracking and get some work done, right? Good deal. I just wouldn't dream of sending this family out on a vacation until they've got a few techniques underneath the belt. What we are going to do is to do our first technique because we're going on vacation, right? We're going on vacation! Yeah, on vacation. Yeah. Brushing teeth is a nightmare in the morning. The kids don't want to do it. They don't enjoy the experience. It's not fun. And between the kids not wanting to do it and half being choked with a toothbrush, it needed to change. So this is what we're going to do. OK. Something very simple for brushing teeth. We're going to give them their own portable mirrors because not only are they going to do it here, they're going to do it when they're on the road as well, on their vacation. We are going to sing a song. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Jared loves to sing Yeah, that. so Mum's going to sing it this time, OK, twice. And that's the amount of time that we want them to brush their teeth. We want them to do it by themselves because they can do it really well and they can see themselves do it as well. 
Mommy's going to sing a nursery rhyme, and when Mommy sings it, we're actually going to start brushing our teeth and looking in our mirror. Can everybody see themselves? Yeah. Can you see yourself? Just uh, twinkle, brush your teeth. Twinkle, brush your teeth while Mama sings. Allowing these kids for the first time to hold their own toothbrush and brush their own teeth was like a big breakthrough for a start. And so being able to encourage the children to learn a life skill in a fun way makes it all the much better. <gasps> Are y'all finished? Yeah. Well done. Well done. I think it's actually wonderful to see the whole family get together and brush their teeth. Let's all head off down to Mimi's because we are going to learn discipline correctly. Come on, Jared. The family has a recliner for a naughty chair at home, but what they need is something that they can take on the road. And so I've brought in the naughty bean bag. Being able to give them a consistent discipline that they can take on the road as well is going to allow them to implement it in the correct way and get maximum results from it. The reason why I've brought this bean bag is because guess what? We're taking this away with us. It's portable, okay? And it will serve us because we're going to be in the camp van. So let's go through the principles of the timeout. Height, eye contact, and our tone of voice. And we explain. I have put you onto this bean bag because you are not listening to mummy. If they get off the bag, take the child and place them back on without talking. As long as we've got the principles here and the steps up here, it doesn't matter where we take it can be anywhere. And it wasn't long before the kids started to act up. Do not throw. All right, let's go, babe. Come on. Just come around, Mimi, and explain why you've placed him onto the chair. You were throwing things, and Mimi told you not to. Now you sit here for three minutes. Come away. Come <laughs> <laughs> First time I started using a naughty chair it was tough. Justin all of a sudden started to turn it into a game of running. You know, I had no idea this would be all so overwhelming. If somebody would have said it would be this tough, we would not have done this. He knows that soon somebody's gonna break. Well, that's what he reckons today. We're about to change that today. <laughs> Justin finally broke down. I could not believe it. And I just had to go in there and I had to cry. Why are you crying? It's, it's happy. Him sitting in the chair, the last the longest he's sat in the chair. I know. Say, you can make my eyes water, you can make me cry. All he needs to know is that you guys are going to be consistent. Look, what you now, look. We put you here because you were being naughty when Mimi asked you not to, and that was not acceptable. So I need for you to tell me I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I thank you. I love you. Give me a hug. That's good stuff. Bubba's back. I want to see a hug, man. I want to see a serious hug. You three did that. We give each other a hug. Hey, I want this. You do a hug. You said together. All right. This is what I'm talking about. Are we ready to go on our vacation? Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. The Drake family have never been on vacation alone, so Mum and Dad are really going to have to step up when it comes to managing these kids without Mimi. I love you, darling. It's sort of kind of scary to actually go on your own because you don't want them to get out of control in an unfamiliar environment. I love you! And everyone's excited. I mean, they're ready for their vacation. I'm extremely hopeful that Joe can teach us some techniques to where we can have some quality family time and just relax. If she can come in and change our lives, it will be all worth it. So we arrived at the campsite. What we 
that the kids were just so excited. They were just running into the woods and going all over the place. We got to get out of this road, OK? Billy Joe and Donna were really worried about this. How are they going to keep an eye on the kids? It's a new place. So I set up these very clear visual aids for them. Jared, please come and sit down, because you see these red ribbons? From the time that these children were young, they've never been given boundaries and discipline. So what we're going to do with these ribbons, we're going to tie them around the tree trunks and we're going to create a visual boundary. What we're going to do is teach the children that where you see the red ribbon, you're not allowed to go past it. If you go past the red ribbon, it means time out. So we don't want to be sitting on the naughty bean bag, do we? Hey, hey, I explained to the children that it was important that we were able to see them and that they were able to be safe. Hurry, just, okay. Justin, you going with us? Jersey. It's just a really good visual aid for young children especially because they're able to see the bright red ribbon and know that they're not to go beyond that. And the kids got really engaged in it. got to take this right here. Oh, good job, Jared. How about this tree right over here? Give you all a little bit more room. Did you do that? Good job, Jared. Mum and Dad are laying down some boundaries here, some rules, so that the kids can be safe, but at the same time, they can allow them their freedom. We're seeing both parents with the kids setting up these little boundaries with the red ribbons and creating a place to play. Now that boundaries are established, we need to go over safety for the kids. OK, guys, we need your attention, OK? We're going to talk about safety. Today, I gave Dad a pouch that had picture cards in them to be able to convey to the children the safety of being in the woodlands. They're just the immediate things that we know are around on the campsite. OK, what we got here? Uh, a snake. A snake. Stay away from snakes, OK? It's important for Billy Joe to be able to convey this to his children so that they're safe, so that they have knowledge. OK? Paul's an ivy, OK? We need to show you some today, the OK? Paul's an ivy has three leaves. I thought it was a wonderful, you know, idea that she came up with. Now, an alligator. Ooh, I like it. Alligators are very dangerous. They don't like little boys and girls and mommy and daddies, OK? Yeah. We do not Listen need to Listen to Daddy. This is very important, okay? Jay. <laughs> When I was explaining the safety cards, I was very impressed. They responded to it. All righty. What yeah. a successful safety lesson. So very good. Good. He did it very successfully. The kids were on board. They listened. They were talking about the photos that they saw, and they really participated in the conversation. It was a very big success. So I think a hike. Let's get everyone out. Let's, OK, uh, let's go walking. I wanted to get Mum and Dad out in the woods exploring with their kids. So I gave the kids a fun involvement technique called hike bingo. And I waited to see if Mum and Dad just loosened up a bit and let go. Look, Jojo's got these cards for you with things that we're going to see on our walk. So if you see a squirrel, you can get your pencil and just cross it off. Let's go. You ready? She's like, OK, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I think this hike bingo really allows the kids to be engaged and so they're not misbehaving and running rings around them all. I want a pine cone. A pine cone? Where is it at? Hey, right. hey, see a stick. Check your stick off. Check right. your stick all right. All right, check Good it job. Off. Where's your stick? Who found that stick? Justin. Y'all better step up to the plate because Justin's going to be done found everything before we get in the woods. Josie, we can't see you. Thank you. OK, you're fine there. Ah, ah. OK. That's brilliant. As long as you can see her and she can see you, you can give her a little bit of slack. There you go. Mum and Dad were very relaxed. Even when Josie went a little bit ahead, Mum didn't have a panic attack, you know? So uh, we are seeing signs of breakthrough with Mum. I would never go through these woods with the kids like this, but I feel that I've actually learned to let them go some and feel a little bit more at ease. We are. Have to get her putting on the show. <laughs> It's Tootie Fruity. I'm going away for a few days. Let's remember what we've dealt with here, boundaries. Let's keep on with our boundaries. Let's keep going with our discipline, OK? And keep working as a team and supporting one another, OK? OK. No doubt Mum and Dad are going to find it challenging whilst I'm away. 
but they're on board, they're committed, and we've not seen any signs of them giving up, so that's a good thing. Last but not least, let's have fun. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you. You're more than much. welcome. Donna and I are a little nervous about not having Joe around to give her leadership and hands-on techniques. See you when I get back. You hated to see JoJo leave, mm -hmm. but hopefully we're on the right track. You know, we're not going backwards. The Drake family is still on vacation at the campsite, and I'm very curious to see exactly how they got on without me. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? OK, not bad. Are we ready to take a look? Ready Ooh, to it's on this DVD. <laughs> Suspense. <sighs> it's killing us. Hey, Justin! Where are we at? Justin, think about where we at. Are we past our boundary? No. Yes, we are. <laughs> you're past your boundary, Justin. I'm not going to do it again. If you're not going to do it again, then you leave, and I'll bring them around there. Go. I'm telling you right now, make a decision, Justin. I'm giving you a warning. Make a decision. Are you going back where you need to go? I'm gonna walk away and see. Justin, thank you for coming back. Okay, I like that because you gave Justin here a choice. And that is the correct way to deal with Justin. You're actually working alongside him and allowing him to make the choice. I'm really pleased you got that. So the next clip is all about sharing. How many clubs we got, Josie? How many balls we got? Come here, Justin. Come back here. Thank you. Hand in the ball. Hey, Come here, buddies. Hey, guys. Come here, Justin. Josie. So, she chose not to stop. We still got a lot of work to do with sharing. It is an important skill to learn and to recognise that uh, you're not always going to be in, in the front row. Thank you. Jared, Justin, come here, buddy. No, ma'am. Stop. I don't think so. Josie. Stop, Josie. Thank you. Come here, guys. Let me show you. Come here. No. See that behaviour right there? It would have been, you come back here right now and you're sitting here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we do need to nip that straight in the bud. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, all right, that's fine. Right. You go to timeout. You will sit here for three and a half minutes. No! <laughs> do not disrespect me and hit me, Justin. Me Don't hit at me again, Justin. You were sat here for three and a half minutes, Justin, because you were disrespectful and you were going past your boundary, which is the red rope, okay? <laughs> Justin, do not hit me. Right, he's hitting out because he's angry, he's frustrated with it. He's frustrated that you're being persistent and you're carrying on. Just don't put yourself in the fire line there. Turn him away so that you don't get any of that because it will only put you in a place that will wear you down. All right, y'all play. No, don't climb up it. Go around. Go to use the steps like you're supposed to. OK, Josie, let's use it like we're supposed to, OK? All right, take turns. Uh-uh, don't hit him, Jared. Y'all can't do that. <laughs> She's in there. <laughs> so what I saw there really was a lot of control because you were worried that they were going to hurt themselves. You do want them to be safe, but at the same time, you want them to be kids. Right. I'm really pleased with what I have seen, but there are a few things that could easily go amiss and then become something very big. So let's work today on the things that do need improving. Let's work a little bit more on those boundaries, and we'll do that with the bike. And to sharing. Sounds good. So uh, I think we should start working again, right? Let's go. Let's go. Ready to ride bikes? Yeah! I like riding my bike. Our bike ride is going to be all about setting up visual boundaries, okay? This will be good practice for here and for when we're back at home as well. This family's slowly learning how to give their kids some breathing space. So now I want to push this family to the next level where they would have never have imagined. Where's your landmark going to be? 
It's going to be the trash cans right up here. JoJo said you don't have to have the red flags or anything. Just take them around and show them how far you want them to go. OK, let's get this show on the road now. Mama's going to okay. show you where you can We're ride We're not going to go here. past. Whoa. Right here, Josie. This is our boundary, please. So what we are seeing now is mom and dad very clearly lay down where they can go so that they are allowed to have the freedom of being able to ride their bikes, but within a restricted area. And that, I think, is a very healthy compromise. OK, buddy. Just done. Come here. I need to show you where you have to stop. You see this sign right here? You cannot go past this sign. You will lose your privileges if you go by your sign. You make a decision, OK? OK. Look, 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 look. Turn around, Billy. Billy, turn around. Do you see where that post is? He's there. That's why he's looking at you, because he wants to play games. Walk away from him. He knows. He knows. He knows he can't go past that. If he does, he loses his bike. OK? Boy, that's it. Thank you, Justin. Go, Justin, go! Yay! Hey. Now. All right, where's our boundary, Josie? Good job. Good job. Baby. It actually felt great, you know, that you could feel more comfortable letting them play and knowing that you don't have such a chance of them going past their boundaries. Good boy. Okay. I have great confidence with the boundary technique due to the fact that I've seen it work. That's one of the things we'll certainly implement uh, one of the first days that we get home. Come on, boy. And later back at the camp, I had a little surprise waiting. Pickaboo! Who's that? <laughs> Did you see a I gave them a few minutes to catch up, and then I sent Mum and Dad off so I could get Mimi up to speed. All righty. Good luck, Mimi. All right. Bye. From what I saw from the DVD, the kids still need work with sharing. So I set up a game with Mimi to address the problem. So, shall we fill this up with water? Yeah! Come on, birdie. We've got a cone here, a leaf, paper. Let's play the guessing game. Will it sink or will it float? It's going to be essential that these kids do share when playing the sink or float game and that Mimi reinforces discipline. So what we're going to do is take turns, OK? We're going to go around here, Jared, Josie and then Justin. Jared, will that sink or will it float? Will it stay at the top of the water or will it drop down to the bottom? Drop down into the bottom. Bottom. OK, let's see then. Put it in. Hands out of the bucket. Hands out, please. No, I said hands out. OK. <coughs> Justin. Wait your turn. Warning, please. Warning, please, for Justin. Justin. If you can't stop and keep your hands out of the water, you go into the naughty bean bag. Oh, there he goes again. OK. Oh. Put it down. Oh. Oh, little Justin got in trouble big time because he couldn't keep his hands out of the water. <laughs> Mimi told you not to put your hands in there. Uh, to wait to your turn. I don't, I don't OK, know. you sit here for three minutes, and then Mimi will let you get up and go try it again. OK? Sit right there. I don't want to. These kids do need to learn that there's three of them, they're siblings. And the important part of this task is to share. And right now, Justin's not willing to be able to do so, and he's on that beanbag. So we'll see how the rest get on. What's this going to do? Well, Float. Oh, what did it do? Well, it can't float. It can't no, float. it can't right. float. Mimi, make your mark straight back. You've got to get a grip on this, otherwise these kids will run you ragged when they're at yours. Oh. oh. <laughs> you can't allow him to think that he'll be able to muscle in and do what he wants. <laughs> he was getting up. <laughs> Moving around. Kicking. Slinging dirt at me. <laughs> Just take a very quick look over there. Mm-hmm. I did. He's actually got one leg on it. Mm -hmm. So he's basically saying the one leg on the beanbag is respecting the fact he knows he has to be on it. And that's good enough, okay? Okay. So your three minutes does start. Started 20 seconds ago. Okay? Okay. That's too heavy. I cannot count the times that he got up. But he finally made it. Are you sorry? Ma'am? What you say? 
I love you. You're sorry, I accept your apology. Let me give you a hug and a big kiss. Go on, go and play. Go and play some water there for you. You like playing in water? When he got up, he went to playing and he was super. Just super. Oh, it's like that now, is it? <laughs> Maybe it's had a swimming party too. Yeah! And with that, it was time for me to go. This family have learnt about sharing, boundaries, and being less controlling. My work is done. Jojo's leaving now. Wow. Oh, well, because I'm going now, Jojo's going to the next family. So I have to leave now in my taxi. So stay with us. Stay with us. <laughs> Can I have a big Can wet cuddle? Kissy. A big mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bye bye, wow. darling. Thank, Thank you so much. much. I love you. Joe's busy has meant the world to us. I wish she would come live with me. I wish she could have stayed longer. Keep up the good work. Keep supporting your family. You're a treasure. You're a treasure. Billy, some serious hard work, yeah. mate. And you did really well. Did really well. Thank you. Keep Thank up you. all your hard work. <laughs> I think it's wonderful that JoJo came on vacation with us and taught us the techniques that we needed because our family has never took a vacation. And it was a wonderful experience. Just get out and have fun with your kids. That's what they need from you. They need you to get out and have fun and be the mum that they know that you are now, OK? Oh, look at you. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye-bye. I know that I've given the Drake family tools and techniques that they can use time and time again. And if they stick with those, they'll be able to go on more and more vacations. extremely proud of my family's development. We are enjoying our kids. We're having a good time. We find that they engage in play and they want to involve us as well. And so that's very pleasing as a parent. Hold on, let me push you. You know, I feel like our family's actually laughing more. Everybody's not so tense. You know, it, it makes a big difference. Don't let go. I definitely feel more comfortable now taking my kids by myself somewhere. How's it looking? Looking good, Dad. Before Joe came, we had the idea that we needed to have one adult per child. You have Daddy out. Good job. But one adult can handle all three children now. We're very pleased with that. Amen. Amen. Good job. I feel like this has definitely been a life-changing experience. It made a big difference in our family. Thank you, Jojo. It's been great. Hey, hello, Jojo. I like Jojo. Guess what? Jump in there. I love you. OK. I believe any family can nail any situation. You just got to put the work in and the commitment. This family put in every single ounce of effort they can to really make these changes. That's what I love about this family, you know? They're on board. They're on board.